We have the good liars at Freedom Fest, a conservative event where these MAGA Republicans are just embarrassing themselves for their Lord and Savior Trump with no dignity or self-awareness to be seen. So I think these always make great educational videos, if you will, on the mind state of who would actually support a fraud rapist with 34 felony convictions. Kids are coming in dressed up as cats with collars and leashes on and ears and supposed to have litter boxes in the restrooms. That's incredible. And you've, you've seen this? I have not personally seen it, but uh, I know people that are involved with uh, the schools. So you haven't personally no, seen it? I haven't it. personally seen it, no. Okay. That's always what it is with these weirdos, because what actually happens is they just hear Trump or other MAGA Republicans say these things, or they see the Russian asset. Sorry, I mean, right-wing propagandists posted on Twitter and instantly believe it. Remember when our elders used to tell us not to believe everything we see on the internet, and now they do exactly that as long as Trump agrees with it? It's kind of uh, odd, you know? This, of course, it should go without saying, but it's not happening. There's no evidence of it. It's been largely debunked, especially with the litter box claim specific schools that were pointed out to spread this lie have came out and said, no, we're not doing it. No, you don't have any evidence of this. You're just lying. I mean, it's long been debunked, but yet people never really care to check that part of it out and will just continue spreading lies with no worries about doing it. What do you think is going to happen? They uncovered that there were some nuclear documents. Do you think anything's going to come of it? I think if they do find something there, they'll, they'll, they'll lock him up. You think if they do find nuclear documents that they'll lock him up? Do you think they should lock him up? I don't think they should, no, because I, I can't imagine what reason he would have to have that kind of thing. So, Right. I can't think of a reason he would have right. those things either. Right. And remember, these are the same people who chanted lock her up, said that Hillary was this grave criminal for having 62 documents on a private server that like a couple people used. Only eight of those being classified, none of them being seen by any of the people. But when Trump takes 325 documents out of the White House, over 65 top secret, we have him on audio showing the documents to people, including, as he said, documents on nuclear capabilities. They see no issue with that. The hypocrisy here is insane and it's why we should never take these people serious not even in the least bit what trump did actually poses a threat to national security if you want to say that hillary should have got charges for recklessness sure but if you think that donald trump absolutely should be in prison for what he did it's it's crazy to say no i don't think they should lock him up but lock up hillary i mean who knows what he planned to do with these documents we know that he went out of his way to hide them so he really wanted to have them we know that he was showing people and bragging about having them and russia interfered in the 2016 election on his behalf maybe he owed them a little payback i mean who knows it's funny that when democrats do anything republicans will try to tie every string together to think of some conspiracy. But when there's like a conspiracy right in front of their face, they're just like, no, can't be true at all. I mean, these are the kind of documents that Trump doesn't even have the power to declassify, let alone the fact that he can't retroactively declassify anything as he loves to claim. What were you doing there January 6th? Important, Trump. Okay. Do you think that uh, the other people there were there with Antifa? Oh, absolutely. There's people there with Antifa. Let me ask you a question. Why would Antifa want to disrupt the certification of the vote for president who they would support? Well, I don't know if they would support him or not. Oh, you, you think there's a chance that Antifa wanted Trump to still win? Well, no. I, no, I, I just think he was, he was done by the, the Democrats, that Antifa was by the Democrats. But they would have wanted Biden to, to be sworn uh, sworn in eventually. Oh, absolutely, yeah. So why would they have it, uh, you know, uh, sworn to the Capitol? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. This is hilarious. They only think Antifa did January 6th for one reason and one reason alone because they don't want to say that Republicans did it. At some point, when Republicans point the fingers at Democrats for every single thing, we should realize you've got to stop taking them serious. Republicans, unironically, could be walking down a hallway and stub their toe and then be like, those goddamn Democrats fucking put that there. I mean, that's literally how they would respond to that. They're pretty much the little brother who gets caught stealing and then just says, oh, well, well my big brother did it. It wasn't me. It's incredibly juvenile. And they've just refused to ever take any accountability for anything. And to me, it's equally insane that so many people just accept that and not just accept that, but go along with it and just say, yeah, every bad thing has to be the Democrats. When a registered Republican who had Trump signs 
shoots at Trump. Yeah, he voted in the GOP primary as well. That's the Democrats. When a former Trump voter with politics all over the place, but leaning more conservative, supporting people like Tulsi Gabbard, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy, as soon as 2024, shoots at Trump, that's also the Democrats. When crime happens, it's Democratic policies. When Trump loses the election, the Democrats stole it. When foreign conflicts start, it's because of the Democrats. Prices go up after a pandemic, the Democrats' fault. Like, at what point? Do we realize what's happening and start calling a spade a spade and realize that Republicans point fingers at the Democrats to distract from the fact that they have no real solutions to these problems themselves? I mean, Trump only has concepts of a plan. Trump, if he wins, I undoubtedly he will have another shitty four years. And I guarantee they blame that on the Democrats.